Hi guys, welcome back to IoT Starters. Today we are uh, going to discuss about uh, Wi-Fi Manager, how it is, uh, it will be working, how you can connect it uh, and integrate on your code, which makes the thing very easier. So let's get started. So for the demonstration purpose, I'll be using a VMOS uh, D1 Mini. Uh, this is a small compact size um, Wi-Fi module which you can use it. It's very uh, easily available in the market. I'll tell you more about this module uh, in some other video. We already have the code over here uh, which has been uploaded in this uh, module which does not need any kind of uh, username and password to be hard coded in the code itself. So we'll quickly look at the code over here. This is only the Wi-Fi manager code. You have to put this code in uh, setup, wide setup and it has got EEP ROM where the entire configuration will be saved and it is calling the function over here and there is a timeout given over here 60 only uncomment this if you want to delete any previous configuration from the EEP ROM of the ESP8266 now going further if smart Wi-Fi switch configuration is already available there then it will not go and act as access point it will try to connect with the saved configuration and it will get connected with the network uh, with which it has been earlier uh, configured and then we have a delay of three seconds over here and after that delay we have a resetting of the ESP which I'll tell you later further then it has a delay of five seconds over here once this delay is completed it will try to connect with the saved configuration that is the SSID and the password over here we are going to connect this module uh, with a power source since the code is already been uploaded so you can see it will flash once which means it is online the name of the access point is hard coded on the code you can see whenever it is powered on uh, smart Wi-Fi switch uh, will be reflecting in your uh, mobile if you go to the Wi-Fi section over there which means this is working an access point and you have to connect initially to configure so we'll go to the Wi-Fi section and I'll switch off and switch on again Wi-Fi and we can see there is uh, Sherlock is my own Wi-Fi and smart Wi-Fi switch I will be connecting it with because this module is working as an access point and it will ask me to sign in which will take me directly to a specific page from where I can configure this is the page where what you get and we have to tap on configure Wi-Fi and it will show how many Wi-Fi uh, networks are available we'll be tapping on Sherlock that's my Wi-Fi I want to configure this device and I'll be putting my password over here I'll just pause for a moment and uh, put the password and now I'll click on save and uh, once it is saved it will be configured and there will be a blue blink which will be resetting this module since it is already been configured and now it will try to connect with the Sherlock so the Wi-Fi connection will automatically disappear it will not show as smart Wi-Fi switch over here this module will not no longer work as an access point because it has already been configured so now it will be working as station mode and it will get connected to the respective network which we have already configured over here